What's going on friends? Rich DeMiro here, Rich on Tech. I'm here at the brand new Sheraton Los Angeles San Gabriel Hotel. And let me tell you, this place has some amazing technology. You've seen, by the way, this place is all brand new. So you've seen this, right? You know what these are. The luggage cart, well this pretty much steps it up a thousand notches because they have robots that take your luggage to your room, robots that lead you around the hotel, and robots that can deliver room service. And maybe in the past you've seen those little room service robots that are kind of small. They might fit like a bottle of soda in there. No, these are amazing. You gotta check them out. So the first robot here at the hotel is this. It's called a Wayfinder. So you literally, you know, it's at the entrance of the hotel. You say where you wanna go. Let's go to their new steakhouse. Can I take you there now? Yes. So this robot will lead me to the steakhouse. And you can see this is a pretty sizable robot. So it says, please stand clear five feet in front of me while I'm moving. So if someone was to get in front of this robot, it will definitely stop. Now here's the really cool part about this robot because you're following it. Not only is it gonna take you to the steakhouse, it's also, go over here since I know where this is, it's also gonna open these doors wirelessly. So here we go, let's see if it sends the signal to the doors. Look at that. So not only did it lead me to the steakhouse, thanks robot, now I can go right in. And uh, place looks pretty good, so we'll have to check that out later. All right, let me show you the other robot over here. This one is gonna deliver food to your room. Let's walk over. It's a long walk. See, that's why they have robots to do this. All right, so Fred is gonna open up this one. This is a room service robot. So, you know, normally you'd have someone come to your room, bring you the food. Well, this one, watch this. Inside, you've got spaces for your food and you just pull your food out when it, it'll call your room when it gets there. Pull your food out, bring it into your room. You can leave a tip inside if you want. I don't know, maybe the robot will take it. Uh, and then you close it up and it will be on its merry way. Thanks, Fred. All right, now, these, are, these robots are called tug robots. And of course, your first instinct when you see one is to step right on it and take a ride. And guess what? That's why they have this sign right here. Although it can support you, you're not supposed to stand on the thing. And when the robots are sleeping, they're just recharging right there. So they'll, they'll find their way around by, uh, you know, by themselves. Okay, here's the coolest robot. So this is the third type of robot they use here. And this one is the luggage robot. So here you go, right here. You've got what looks like a luggage cart that's kind of reconfigured to sit on that tug robot. And we open the door. You can put your luggage inside right there. It can fit a bunch of suitcases. It's all secured. So you can see you've got the lock on the outside. And when it comes to your room, it will actually ring your phone, tell you that the delivery is there, and it will give you a four digit code so that you can unlock this yourself. So if anyone finds this in the hotel while it's making your way, making its way up to your room, you're not gonna be able to open it. So that's nice and secure. Um, and of course, if you happen to get locked inside, which you shouldn't, because you shouldn't be fooling around inside, you can open it up from the inside. Now, I know some parents are gonna request that their kids get taken up to the room inside this. You cannot do that. That is not an approved method for these robots yet. Although if I was suggesting that, I'd say take them on the long route, like up every single floor, but we're not doing that. Okay, so we close that. And now the robot, you can see they have this cool, um, they gave it like a personality. And if you notice, it does not have a name just yet. So the Sheraton is gonna do a contest to name this. So keep an eye out in the comments. I'll put the link if you wanna, I don't know, maybe win something by naming this guy. And all these sensors are in here as well. So let's fire them up and uh, I'm gonna, oh, we've got, uh oh, we've got, <laughs> we've got several robots passing here. It's like a, it's like a uh, airport runway. So this guy is stopping and you can see when they come through, they go really slow because these are heavy machinery. You don't want to get in front of one of them, but if you do, I'll show you what happens. Doesn't it just feel high tech in here with these robots? I mean, that's part of the fun of seeing this stuff. Yeah, let's, let's fire them up. So now once you get all your luggage in there, the front desk will key in your room number and it will make its way up all by itself. So let's, uh, let's follow this guy. Now don't try this at home, but I'm gonna step in front of the robot and see what happens, okay? So here we go. Oh. Whew. Thank you for stopping. All right, so we'll let him get on his way. And you can see, once you get in front of him, he's very cautious about his next move because these are very friendly robots. And you see there's a lot of people moving, so they have to be very, um, they've gotta be on their game with those sensors. So here's what he does. He makes his way over here 
are the regular guest elevators. This robot is going to take a secondary bank of elevators that are around the corner here. So he's going to go that way. And here's what the best part about these robots are. The service people up front, you know, the, the bellman, all those people, they will still walk you to your room, but now they have the freedom to interact with you and chat with you while this guy is doing all the heavy lifting and all the hard work. So less sweating for them and, uh, you know, you still get that human interaction. So I think this is really cool. This is the first hotel in the nation to have these robots. And so, of course, when people come to the hotel, that's like a bonus. It's like an add-on. You get to take pictures with this thing. I'm sure people will pose. Uh, maybe I'll take a selfie with him real quick if, if he doesn't mind here. Hey, do you mind if I, uh, he doesn't have a name yet, so I can't, but okay. Let me, let me take a selfie. Okay, and you see he's opened the door, so he's got work to do. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it the thumbs up. Uh, if you learned something from it, share it with your friends on Facebook. I love when you guys watch these videos and comment on them. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Rich DeMiro, richontech.tv. Look at that precision. I'll see you next time.